It would be awesome if you could show a video of a writer's room in action. I'd love to be an observer. Yeah, I'm sure you would absolutely love it because it's really interesting to watch a team full of creative people do their thing, you know, start from nothing and just create something hopefully amazing out of it. But here's why it's not going to happen. First of all, I'm not on staff of a TV show right now. The strike just ended, so I got to find a job. So if any showrunners are watching this, I'm free. Well, I'm not free. I'm actually pretty expensive, but I'm available. Well, that makes it sound like I'm single and I'm married to my wife, though, not to my work. I couldn't care less about my work. All right, I'm going to have to do this over again. So the last show I was on before the strike was actually done on Zoom because that's how the studios were still doing it because of the pandemic. And the only thing worse than being in a Zoom meeting is watching one, which is why I think my pilot Zoom meeting is not going to get picked up the series. Mm. Yep, that's my agent. It's dead. But how exciting that he actually called me. Also, on every show I'm on, I sign a pretty lengthy NDA. So I cannot talk about, or on social media, things like this. For sure, they would say, no, I ain't gonna happen. But more to the point, you know, when you have a team of writers, it takes us easily a week to break a story. That means professionals sitting around a table brainstorming and breaking stories before a word is even written. You're on a whiteboard and you're figuring out the act breaks, what the scenes are, how the scenes unfold, the story arcs, all that stuff, and not one word has been written. And so think if, if that takes a week, think how many bad ideas there are being thrown out. There's a lot of bad stuff before you find something good and then you start building on it. So for you to watch us at a table doing this, I think you wouldn't be... You know, unless you're watching the whole day, you'd be like, this kind of sucks. In a three-minute video, you wouldn't see much gold there. It would be like, you know, when you judge a, a restaurant, a five-star restaurant, you don't judge it on the kitchen. In the kitchen, oh, it's a mess. You don't want to know what's going on back there. You judge a restaurant by the ambiance, by the service, by how the food is plated, and how the food tastes. So you don't want to see, you know, you don't, the, the normal person doesn't want to watch me on social media you know, being bad at my job. You want to see me being good at my job. But okay, thank you for the question. And by the way, if you're really interested in this, I do host uh, a free webinar every three weeks where I kind of show you how we do this. This week, I'm talking about how we develop characters. So if it truly interests you, come to my webinar. It's free. It's an hour long. And I think you'll be surprised at how we actually develop characters. It's probably not what you think it is. It never is, though. Come, come join me. The link is over here. I'll see you. I forgot my tagline, at Michael Jammin Writer. I got so wrapped up in talking about my webinar.